Clifford Jones was strangled while collecting aluminum cans for pocket money. You could say he was killed for a penny can. Well, look who they let out of the battle. Huh? Now we really are in trouble. Oh, we may just pull the chestnuts out of the fire for all you sweet cops to get all the metal. Well, it will take more than a few pieces of lint to it. My pieces of lint, as you call them, are a hell of a lot more reliable than an eyewitness. Well, I wish I understood it all. See the stuff here? Now, this might have come from the clothes that the murderer was wearing. The guy you've been looking for for over a year now? Might have come from a, a doormat in front of his house, from the cover of a couch, from the, the floorboard of the car that he's driving. Barbers have dentures, texture, color. They tell you a story if you know how to read them correctly. Yeah. The trouble is, all the hell and a few other guys over the lab know how to read them. I wouldn't want to put some guy in jail for the rest of his life or send him to the chair because of a few threads of cloth that I can't match myself. You're the kind of cop we're gonna have to replace with automation one of these days? Yeah, sure. So what do you got in this case? What kind of lift? Dog hair. Dog hair? What kind of dog? Well, I'm asking Husky and Malamute. With us? Yes. Yeah. Get up to the kennel club, veterinarian. Get the names and addresses of everybody who's got a dog registered like that. Anything else? Wait a minute. What? Now, this fiber is very similar to some of the ones we found on the other body. It's a green carpet fiber. It's very unusual because the cross-section of the fiber shows a trilobular design with one short leg. Trilobular. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll still settle for a fingerprint, motor, old-fashioned things like that. What do you want to bet when we find the murderer? He's got a green carpet in his house. 